So I was joking about, like joking a lot about like now wanting to take my shirt off on camera. But to be perfectly honest, I like, yes, I was joking about it, but in nearly every jest, there is an element of truth. And in this one, more than just an element. I don't like taking my shirt off. I don't like people seeing me without any kind of clothes on, except my wife, because she's still attracted to me. When I said that I would do shirtless week, I was gaining a lot of followers quickly. I mean, a lot. Like when I first started the channel, it was in the height of the summer. And I was like, man, it's getting hot. I'd like to take my shirt off, but I'm not doing that because I don't actually want to take my shirt off on camera. So I said, well, when I get to 25 followers on the lifting channel, then I'll do a week of shirtless workouts thinking, oh, that'll probably come at some point in the summer. Not in the first week of the season where it's freezing three days in a row, but a promise is a promise. Streamers often do things that make them uncomfortable for the entertainment factor for the audience. And it does make me uncomfortable. I watched through the stream yesterday because uh, I watched through to make sure my form is right, make sure there are no glitches, make sure that, uh, that my counts were right. I saw myself without a shirt on and I'm self-conscious about it. I'm not gonna lie. Yes, one of the reasons I'm working out is so that I like how I look without a shirt on. Right now, I don't. I have probably the worst combination of skinny, noodly arms and weird belly fat that I have ever had in my life. When I had more belly fat, I at least had stronger arms. When I had less belly fat, um, yeah, my arms were still noodly, but they were still kind of, kind of built. I've said it before. I think I'm about 13% body fat and all of that is right here. And I don't like to see that. And I don't like other people seeing that. It makes me self-conscious. makes me look down on myself. It also makes me glad that I am happily married. It makes me glad that I am not on the dating market because I think I look okay, but I'm trying to look better for myself and my wife, but I'd be pretty down on myself if, uh, if I was on the dating market, it makes me feel, feel for guys out there because believe it or not, no matter what they say, women aren't attracted to dad bods. Women are attracted to the one in 10,000 dude who is above six foot. And yeah, I'm six one who has a six pack who makes a six figure income. And it's not fair to a lot of guys out there because there are a lot of guys out there who are nice, good looking guys who are going to take really, really good care of someone that they love. I think everything that has gone on in the dating market has gotten way out of hand. And that's just, that's on all sides. I don't blame guys for just deciding to be done with dating because it's uh, it's a lot of work. You are better off working on improving yourself, finding a group of guys who are going to encourage you to improve yourself and live a healthy life than get shit on by people who have no concept of reality. And uh, that actually makes me feel bad for the, the good women out there because I think there's a lot more of them than a lot of guys realize. And a lot of women realize too. There are a lot more good women out there that are not into that one in 10,000 dude. Well, they are like into that guy, but would be absolutely happy with and not settling for the average guy. And yeah, the average guy is like 5'9", five, 5'10". Five, uh, the average guy is unfortunately overweight. Um, the average woman is overweight. We have over 30%, a, over 30% of the American population is morbidly, not morbidly, but is in the obese category. The majority of people, the average person makes less than $100,000 a year. You can have a healthy and happy relationship while looking and being in a position that is not the most elite, um, that is not unreasonable, but 
I get it. I'm not going to tell you to go out and change your life because, well, okay, I am going to tell you to change your life. I'm not going to tell you to go out and, and date, find a relationship. That's up to you. Change your life in such a way that makes your life better. And that means, that means doing more than you're doing today. Do more tomorrow than you're doing today. If you're taking a thousand steps, if that's your step goal tomorrow, take a thousand and one. And then the next day, 1,002. See what I'm getting at? It's what I'm doing with working out. I don't like being on stream without a shirt on. And that has very, very little to do with the temperature outside and the weather. Mostly has to do with just, I don't like the way I look without a shirt on. But I'm working at looking better with a shirt on. So the next shirtless week, will be at 100 followers. Now, if you as a viewer are uh, are watching and you want to share and you want that to be something that happens soon, cool. It might be that I'll be super ripped and have a six pack by the time uh, by the time that one comes around. I have no idea how fast this channel is going to grow, but I'm just going to keep doing what I'm doing. I'm going to lift and I'm going to chat and I'm going to have the conversation because I'm improving my life. You can do more than you think. I'll see you tomorrow for leg day. This segment was part of my daily lifting streams over on my Nick's The Fat Rumble channel. I stream myself lifting every weekday around 8.15 a.m. Eastern Time as I attempt to master my dad bod. If you want to join the conversation live, head over to Rumble and follow me. Let's motivate each other to improve our lives a little more each day. You can do more than you think.